Must be fun doing the sales calls. Do you, do you get people asking you, you know, am I replacing like a bunch of people with these robots behind a <laughs> curtain or something? And what's the visual image that you want people to have when they when they're using your platform and the data is being processed by this virtual analyst, is it kind of a lot of automation? Are there some people involved? I make the yeah. image to robots, but maybe I'm not kidding. You know, perhaps there is some. Well, I, I think I think we want people to think about. You now have this this team and this virtual team that's almost like an army that could come in yeah. and help help you win the fight that you're fighting right yeah. now. Yeah. Uh, and it is a lot of automation. I mean, being able to do this. In fact. I'd say that people, um, you know, I like to talk about it as you know, this, this avalanche of data coming in, but it isn't just having you know, this, this complete uh, unconstrained amount of people, could they do it? I, people actually can't process some of you know, all this data that comes through because it's, it's just too much and people aren't good at that kind of thing, right? People are um, good at, at intuition and their yeah. ingenuity and their right. creativity, you know, pulling on threads as they investigate things. Kind of the rote, am I watching something minute by minute, hour by hour, you know, and, and being able to pull the stuff that really matters from all that sea of information, that's what machines are actually good right. at. So those robots or the software is good at being very thorough, very consistent, uh, and, and at a scale that can handle those kinds of loads. And I think that's, that's what this virtual analysts, this virtual team of analysts, even if you, if you call it that, can give to an organization. And it gives them the capacity to really try to win this fight that they're on.